my bro <laughs> my brother left his camera lying about. <clears throat> so what did I do? <laughs> I took a picture of my foot. <laughs>Richard's out to dinner with someone. Mom's on the phone in the other room, private call. So I came in the kitchen and <laughs> I found some rubber cement. <laughs> so what did I do? <laughs> I rubber cement. <laughs> I rubber cemented the pages <laughs> together. And then he likes this hardware store, Menards. He loves looking through the ads. He can't afford to buy anything, but I glued the tops of all the pages <laughs> shut. <laughs> He's going to kill me. <laughs> it is cold outside. Colder than a tin toilet seat in Siberia. That's what a girl from high school I used to walk home with. Her father was from Texas, and they have cute little sayings like that. Colder than a tin toilet seat in Siberia. And it is. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> Mom's still talking to someone on the phone, and uh, I have probably another hour and a half till Rick comes home. We're playing on the piano a little bit. It's so warm in here. They keep it too hot in here. Um, I heard some really disturbing news. A lady whose house I clean and I've been cleaning for six plus years. She's 97 or something. She is in intensive care on life support right now. And she may not last. So, if she doesn't, I have lost an income totally. And I'm kind of freaking out about it. Also trying to lose weight and I made this soup that's mostly cabbage and I had it for supper and within five minutes I did not even make it to the bathroom. Let me put it that way. And even that's too much information. So I think that soup will clean me out. <laughs> oh, I guess it's time for new beginnings whether they're forced on you or not. And it looks like it's going to be a forced on me year this year. I don't like it when things are forced on me. I like having my own choice, my own decisions. Also this morning in Paris, France, some uh, crazy gunmen killed at point blank some illustrators for a satirical magazine because they said they had done something anti-Muslim. So <clears throat> I was very, very disturbed to hear that. It's like, what the hell is the world coming to? You've got people in this country protesting. And I, I do agree that there needs to be some change with police brutality, tactics, blah, blah, blah. But these people that are out protesting and lying about, they, uh, they have no clue what it's like in the real world where people are bombed and shot point blank in the face and then the, the shooters get away, boom, they're gone and crazy. This world is insane. I mean, it's almost like, you know, it would be better not to be here. I need a shower bad. Well, that's it for tonight. I'm going to try to upload this from here maybe. I don't know. I brought the computer with me to show mom some stuff on it. She never gets to see anything or go anywhere or do anything so I thought maybe I would bring the world to her on the computer and I don't think she's interested. I'm tired. I didn't sleep at all last night. So I ought to be in Snoresville tonight. Yeah. Upward and onward.